I am Magdalene Albizu, and I am a filmmaker from Brooklyn. I am a daughter and granddaughter, and I grew up on Long Island. On Long Island, I grew up in a Dominican household until someone called me black. I started to figure out what that meant. The black students embraced me as their own, and I started to listen to hip hop. I coined the term Nubian Latina to embrace my blackness. My parents didn't like the idea of me calling myself black. My daughter is black. Is that what you want me to say? <laughs> Blacks in American is, means that she will, they will discriminate against her. I, no, I don't think my daughter is black, and it's not because of the color of your skin. If you're saying black African-American, we're talking about a African-American culture. If you're saying black Latina, that's a different Latino culture. So to me, yes, you're black Latina, but no, you're not black African-American. I became a social worker that decided to get into making movies. The topic I always wanted to talk about was Afro-Latinas in the United States and how their skin color affected them in both cultures. I started to find women interested in talking about their experiences. The term negrita to me, there are two meanings. First, it depends on who's saying it. I understand it to be a term of endearment, so negrita can be something like saying, you know, my, my black girl, my love. It's often used in kind of a way, oh no, it's just friendly, but you also hear it in kind of negative terms, like, ooh, who the negrita over there, like the little black girl over there. Negrita is one that's used in songs, and like, mo most of the like, songs, salsa songs from the 80s, and stuff, even now, like, are like, mi negrita this, and mi negrita that, so there's some sort of like, cariño in it. It was honestly, it was a lot of actually Spanish people talking, and they thought I was actually black, so they moved by, what that black girl right there thinks she is, or oh, negrita, la negra es, or that's how they would say. Then when Ashley turned around, she's like, oh, you Spanish, I'm so sorry I wasn't even talking about you, but I'm actually the only one that was standing there. Certain comments like, oh, you know, date a lighter person so your kids come out like this, certain things like that, I have heard. For me, black means you're of African descent no matter what country you're from, if you're Cuban, Puerto Rican, Panamanian, to me, it's like, Negra, negro. Someone calls me negrita, negra, mulatita. I'm like, whatever. It doesn't offend me or upset me. Sometimes I would just hide my identity and I wouldn't tell anyone that I was Latina because I just didn't want to be identified or associated with that or trying to prove my ethnicity. I feel like we all, we are Africans in Caribbean, Latin America. And this is another way of you know, branding ourselves to the world, saying that, well, I'm black, but I can see Spanish. This is going to be a great documentary, and we want you to be involved. You can be a part of a community that we are trying to empower to love themselves. How can you help? You can help by donating. We need donations for our crew, feeding our crew, traveling, um, all of our production expenses, so that we can document the experience of Latinas across the United States. Our goal is to raise $50,000. And for your donations, you can get our wonderful perks, either having dinner with the director and producer, getting a shout out or an exclusive download for our behind the scenes, or you can get an associate producer credit. Thank you for your donations.